How you do one thing is how you do everything. And if you aren't seeing success in your trading, it's probably because you aren't disciplined in your everyday life. I've studied myself over the past eight years as a trader, and I have come up with this one conclusion. Self-discipline is the number one tool that can really take your life to new levels. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you just five simple things that have really accelerated my trading. And these five rules, you can say, are really gonna help you guys get to the next level, but they'll only work if you apply them. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway, maybe giving away just $100 a week. Let's start this giveaway today. And at the end of the week, on Monday, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner. All you guys have to do to win this $100 is drop a comment below on this video. Whoever has the best comment on this video in the next following videos is gonna win that $100. And if you guys wanna be mentored by me, hey, I now offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship and I am looking for just five people that I can take to a six-figure income with my US 30 and NAS 100 strategy. If that's you, send me a message on Instagram. And one more thing before we get started, if you guys could show some type of love, like this video, drop a comment below, or hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And also check out my channel. I have a ton of other videos based around trading. Now, without further ado, let's get this video started. Guys, I have been in this industry, in this game for eight years now, and I have done a lot of self-development to get to the point where I am today, not just to have these materialistic things in my life, but to have knowledge in this thing right here, to make the right decisions when it comes to my everyday life, and especially when it comes to my trading. I believe that one of the things that I have learned about that has really helped me out in my trading is self-discipline. And a lot of you probably don't know what self-discipline is, but it's choosing to do what is necessary, whether you feel like it or don't feel like it. And it's just like, you guys, we know that we have to have our dinner before dessert. We know that fruit's going to be a better option than candy. We know that water is a better option than soda, but some of us choose to still drink that soda. And it really comes down to a lot of people. This isn't really calling anyone out, but there's a lot of people in this freaking world that don't have any self-control. They cannot control themselves to say no to these bad things that are holding them back in life. And as an individual, I believe that self-discipline is one of the main reasons as to why I am seeing so much success in my trading lately. Why and how, actually not why, how can you guys fix this? Well, I think that working out is an amazing thing to do that is really going to help you guys out with your self-discipline. And I know a lot of us, we're just so lazy and we don't want to go to the gym, but guys, you need to get up off your ass and go to the gym, go for a walk. They say that you should take at least 7,000 steps a day, whether you're running or you're walking. And they do have on our iPhones, there's a health app right here, this health app that will show you all the data that's going on. So look, today I'm down, but I actually went for a run on the treadmill for two miles. I have 3,600 steps marked for the day. But there's this app right here where you can go through and see all the data statistics on what's going on in your life. But working out is going to be huge. Eating the right foods is going to be huge. Saying no to negative temptations. Maybe you're addicted to porn. Maybe there's things in your life like smoking and drinking that vices that are not helping you get ahead that you need to just say no of, no to. You guys need to take control of your life. And it's sad the world that we live in where there's so many people out here that can't say no to a simple thing. So if you can say no to these little things, it's really gonna help you say no to the bigger things in life. And when it comes to trading, guys, if you can't stop yourself from saying no to eating McDonald's where you can't control that desire to eat McDonald's and you do it, how are you gonna stop yourself from taking a trade that isn't even there? So really start practicing self-discipline in your everyday life and it's gonna make a dramatic change in your trading. The next skill set is thinking long-term. A lot of you are probably trading with $100, $1,000, and guys, 10% of $100 is 
dollars. That is not a lot of money at all. And a lot of you are like, damn, if I have $100 and I can do 10% a month, that's only $10. Like, that's not worth it. In this mindset of saying, this isn't good enough, this isn't enough money, is really discouraging you. And when you go and take these losses, or when you see these small little profits, you're gonna say, Forex doesn't work, it's this, it's that. Guys, you should have a sustainable income besides trading to actually pay for the bills. If you're coming into this industry and you just say, I wanna make a million dollars the first year, no. No, 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 it's it's not gonna work like that. You guys need to freaking get a grip on yourself. There's too many of out, out here that are just lollygagging, that just have this delusional mindset of things that aren't even real. There's no fact-based knowledge behind it that makes it real. You just came up with this in your head and you made yourself believe it. Guys, this is the day where everything changes. I want you guys to understand that once you have $100,000 in your trading account, I don't give a fuck if it's in the next year, the next three years, the next four years. Guys, if you have $100,000 in a trading account and you're able to do 5 to 10% a year, you're automatically in the top 10% of people in this world. If you're able to do $5,000 to $10,000 in profit every single month, that is amazing. You guys shouldn't just say, oh, I'm making $10,000 a month. Let me go get the Lambo. Let me get the new crib. Let me go get the new designer clothes. Guys, when you start making this money, and this is where your short-term mindset comes in, and this this is why so many athletes, so many entrepreneurs, so many rappers, and people go broke, is because when they make their fucking money, what do they do? They go spend it. They go and spend it right away. Why? Because they never had that money. Here's what you guys should be doing. When you make money, you should put it into categories and you should say, all right, this is my paycheck right here. I'm going to put 60% of my paycheck into my bills. I'm going to put 20% of my paycheck into investments. And then the other 20% is just going to be spending money. You guys need to really have good money management skills. And it's so simple to do, but nobody wants to do it. Why? Because they're in this short term mindset. I said in the beginning of this video, how you do one thing is how you do everything in life. If you guys are lacking in your self-discipline, you're going to lack in your money management. You're going to lack in your training. You're going to lack in the relationship with your family and your loved ones. Like guys, you need to become the best version of yourself you could possibly become. That is why we are on this life. And that's the overall test is like, what are you going to do in this life? Is it just about materialistic shit and money? Like you want to be able to unlock the best version of yourself. That's what I believe. But I want you guys to understand that some of you have this short term mentality because you want to make $10,000 right away. And if it doesn't happen right away on your time, then you're going to say it doesn't work. It's a scam. I'm not going to trade Forex guys. Like I said, when you're trading with hundred K and you do $10,000 a month, cool. Get, get that money that you're making and reinvest it. Put it into mutual funds. Put it into index funds. Put it into real estate. Put it into crypto. Like, guys, whenever I make money, I'm putting money into this, into this, into this, into this. And I'm having all these asset classes make money for me hands free. One thing that you guys can do is put your money into the S&P 500 index fund. The S&P 500, yes, is an index. Some of you probably trade it like with NAS 100 and US 30, but guys, the S&P 500, an index fund, is average, on average, it's doing like eight to 10% a year. You guys can have eight to 10% being made for you hands-free by doing nothing. And here's a crazy thing. If you have a million dollars in the S&P 500 and it does 10% in a year, that's $100,000 you just made right there. Hands fucking free. Are you guys starting to get it? Like, this isn't like we need to be rich in the first one to two years. Guys, we're young. I just turned 26. I do not really care about making really a lot of money right now. I see kids my age that are making like a million dollars in a year, like two million. I'm like, bro, they don't have the same mindset that I have. They're probably going to be broke in the next five to 10 years. Why? Because they're buying labels, they're buying Rari's, they're buying designer shit. They're trying to impress everyone at the club. Like, guys, be freaking smart with the money that you're making. Save your money because one day it might save you. This one's going to be short, simple, and sweet. Stop comparing yourself to other people. 
you guys, you see these other people on the internet, especially Instagram and YouTube, that are flexing their cars and stuff, and you're like, why am I not doing that? I, I need to make their results immediately. And guys, they put in work in the dark that you did not see. You are not that person, so do not compare your chapter one to their chapter 30 or their chapter 50, whatever it may be. Focus and stay in your lane, baby. This is my favorite rule and something that has really helped me out with my trading, and that is working on my patience. I think that patience is extremely important in trading. I know you guys can all agree with me, but patience works in many different ways. It's like, I gotta be patient when I'm in a trade. Why? Because if I'm impatient, I may close the trade before it hits my take profit or before it hits my stop loss. I need to be patient and wait for a trade because if I take a trade because I want to because I'm emotional, it might not be a good trade. I need to be patient and just let the market show me what it wants to show me. Um, there's a couple of things that I would recommend that you guys do to really enhance your levels of patience to make it more tolerable. The first one is meditating. If you, go, if you guys go on YouTube and just type in guided meditation, there's meditations that are like 10, 20 minutes long. Do those every single day. Work on your patience. And when you're doing this meditation, just be present. And that leads us to point number two with this patience topic is try and be more present in the moment. Stop thinking about what happened last week. Stop thinking about what's going to happen this week or the next day, the next hour. Be present because our life is not promised. What if a meteor came through my window right now and killed me? And I was thinking about my ex that left me three weeks ago. And I was letting that disturb my peace, my joy, my happiness. Do you know how rude that is to myself? I'm letting my happiness be taken away from an external thing. Happiness is an inside job. I get to determine up here whether I get to be happy or not. What you think about, you bring about in your everyday life, but patience is super important, guys. You need to get a grip on it. And I think meditation and being present are the two things that have really helped me out. The last thing is taking full accountability. And you guys need to understand that you are responsible for whatever happens in your life. You're responsible for the way that you react to everything that's going on in your life. And if, let's say it's raining outside, or let's say I get, let's say I'm driving down the road and boom, my tire pops. I can't get angry, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late to this. Ugh. Or I was like, do you know what? Maybe I got this flat tire so I wouldn't get into a really bad car crash. And it's all about perspective. The way that you see the outside world and the experiences going on are really going to define whether you're going to be a happy person or not. And a lot of people, they let these little things get to them on an everyday basis. And it's the law of attraction. Once you have one negative thing happen to you, you're going to attract more and more and more and more and more and more. But let's say that one negative thing happens to you, but you're like, you know what? I'm going to turn this negative thing into a positive thing and then what happens more and more and more positive is the friction it starts building up and up and up and you just attract all of these really positive things in your life so when you guys take a loss don't get all mad and angry and break your keypad like i used to do what you guys should do is say okay what did i do wrong what can i do to fix this and it's like at the end of the day you should it's like when you guys have goals you should write down your goals every single morning, but at the end of each day, you should ask yourself two questions. One, what did I do today to get closer to these goals? Two, what can I do tomorrow to get closer to these goals? What are you doing every single day to get closer to your trading goals? What do you need to do more of? What do you need to do less of? Write it down and come up with a game plan. It's not like you guys take a loss and you just get mad and you go into the next trade. No. Take time to reflect on it and figure out what you did right and what you did wrong. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.